Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to Biblical Hebrew Foundation. Before we were saved, we were slaves to sins. Romans chapter 6 verse 20. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. So what sins were your masters before you got saved? Because one thing about the enemy, Satan, he'll try to sell you to any kind of master that you'll yield to. Without Yeshua, we would have no hope of getting out of this crisis. We were slaves of sin and could never be set free without Yeshua, Jesus. The only hope we had is redemption. In other words, for someone to get us out of the marketplace. The book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 says, And not through the blood of goats and calves, but through his own blood, he entered the holy place once and for all, having obtained eternal redemption. In Hebrew, it's the full payment, the full asking price, the full ransom. Mechir pida. that's what it is in Hebrew. That's what he paid. We need to understand that the highest price ever paid for a human was paid for you and I. Was paid for all those who call on the name of Yeshua, Jesus, as their personal Savior, as God. The Bible says, not with the blood of bulls and calves, but with his own blood, Yeshua redeemed us. We were horribly mistreated. We were horribly abused. We had absolutely no hope. It's very important to realize this because if you don't allow this revelation to stay fresh in your heart, you'll leave home, you'll backslid, and eventually you'll leave God and Satan will convince you that slavery is better than freedom. And even as believers, he'll get us to go back into bondage. That's why it's so important to be reminded of what it cost. Salvation came to you and I as a free gift by grace, but it came at a heavy, heavy price. And the blood of Yeshua the Messiah cannot be taken for granted. The blood, the redemption, the forgiveness of sins cannot be taken for granted. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of of his grace. Tehilim Psalms chapter 130 verse 7. Israel put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. That word redemption is the full payment. There's another word in Hebrew also for redemption, and that's geulah. And geulah also means the full payment of a slave. It also can mean to return back to its original state. Yeshua not only bought you, but he returned you back to your original state before the fall. Sinless in the sight of God. Not that we're perfect, but in the sight of God by his blood. No sins are counted against us. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Ecclesiastics chapter 7 verse 20. Surely there is no righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. All of us have fallen short of the glory, but through him we become righteous. Through him we become priests. Through him we are ambassadors for the kingdom. As the bride of Yeshua, Jesus, in the sanctification process, until one day we meet the Lord in the air, go home and consummate the marriage. Yeshua paid the price for our freedom. Even in those days in biblical times, you could buy a slave, but you could have paid an extra price for the slave's freedom and set him free. And that's what Yeshua did for us. He didn't pay an extra price. He paid the full price. Yeshua doesn't want us just to be his bond servants, his slave. He wants us to be the bride. Look at Galatians chapter 4 verse 7. Therefore, you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ, through Yeshua. You're not slaves anymore. You're sons and daughters of the Most High because of what Yeshua did. He paid the ransom, the gula, the redemption, not only for you to be free, but for you to return to your original state. This is really important to realize this. Look at Luke chapter 3, verse 38. The son of Enish, the son of Seth, 
the son of Adam, the son of God. How could Adam be a son of God? Jesus is the begotten son. Hayom yarditecha. Yeshua is God in the flesh, but he's not the only son. He says, I got lots of sons and lots of daughters. Adam was created a son of God. No sin. You know what Yeshua did for us? Returned us back to the original state before sin ever came in the world. The wages of sin is death. Yeshua died on the cross for our sins, rose on the third day, and by his blood, if we repent and believe, we have full redemption of sins and eternal life. Redemption in the Hebrew, Hugaalotanu, he redeemed us. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. So also it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. By one man we fell, by one man were redeemed, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, who redeemed us, Geula. The Bible calls Yeshua the last Adam, or the second Adam. God told the second Adam, I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but your bride has sinned, and she must die. Yeshua said, I love her, I love my bride. Someone must die, then let it be me. Did you catch it? That's what our inheritance cost. Don't ever take it for granted. I hope this teaching has blessed you as it has blessed me. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, preach the gospel, bring the gospel back to Jerusalem, and go home. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi, Zev Porat, sending you blessings from Jerusalem, Israel, in the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua. Amen.